It's our three months anniversary today. That's mad. I feel like I've been coming here for years. <laughs> How are you? What do you think? You have more energy. You appear more content with your life now than you did three months ago. But only you can tell how you are feeling. Hmm? I, I, I can't do that for you. I know, and I wish I could tell, but I'm not sure anymore. You remember nothing of what happened before the coma. You're not sure you want to remember. I think you do. Do you agree with that, Zoe? And potentially lose everything I've built here? I, I'm not sure that's a risk I want to take. I've, and potentially lose everything I've built here? I, I guess it's a risk I'll have to take. I know there's something I need to remember, something I'm supposed to be doing. It's always at the back of my mind. I do. I can't stand feeling there's something I need to remember. Something's nagging at me, something important. I have no idea. So I have to find out. I understand, okay. Let's see if we can do an exercise. Jog your memory. What is the last thing you do remember? Dropping out of uni, moving back in with Dad. Feeling listless, powerless. I'd lost Lost faith in myself and everyone around me. I'd broken up with Reza. And then something did happen. Be careful what you wish for, right? Reza vanishing. Me going after him, trying to track him down. I ended up in Newport. I have memories of sneaking into a house filled with drug addicts. I remember being in a safe place and connecting to a dream machine but that's where it ends. And before that? Before leaving Casablanca? Dad was going away. I was throwing a party. Then Reza asked me to pick up a package. That's what set it all in motion. That and the static. Now, do you remember what that turned out to be? After I woke up, they filled in the blanks. Apparently it was some sort of glitch or virus. Rogue code infecting the worldwide wire. Someone at Watercorp was using the dream machine to read people's minds. Someone I'd met. Kavanagh. Damien Kavanagh. That's right. The man behind it all. The perpetrator of the conspiracy. He'd put some sort of worm into the code, turning the dream machine into a mind-controlling tool affecting millions. At least that's... that's what they say. He recorded a confession before he... He didn't want to rot away in a jail for the rest of his life, but at least he came clean. Absolved his employer of any wrongdoing. Convenient. In what way? Oh, forget it. Like I said, I don't remember him. I, I don't remember any of it. All I know is they poisoned my mind. Inserted false memories. Nothing I saw or experienced was real. The little girl on the screens, the other... The other world. Arcadia. Another colorful figment of their imagination. A synthetic dream. And you still remember nothing of going to Japan? Breaking into Watikorp? Nope. I exposed a global conspiracy and all they gave me was a lousy coma. Aside from you, Reza and my dad, no one even knows I was involved. Reza kept me out of his expose, thank God. And even he doesn't know what really happened during the week I was gone. Maybe my friend Olivia knew something, but she... passed away. You feel responsible. I went off playing teen detective and people got hurt. You're worried something else happened to you. I can't do anything about it, so I should just... not think about it. B but if I do start to remember, will I like what I find? I mean, it's a week of my life. Gone. Vanished. Have you used a dream machine yet? It's becoming a disease, an addiction. I'm concerned about what these lucid, perfect dreams are doing to us. And you were connected to a prototype. There's no way to predict how that may have affected you. 
Have you spoken with Gabrielle yet? I haven't. Yet. I decided to continue with my degree, so I guess that means I'm not disassociating myself completely from Dad and everything he represents. But he... He rented out the house, moved to Mumbai. We're not exactly close anymore. That's perfectly fine. What do you want to talk about? Is the new series of Eurotrash a valid topic? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Our time is almost up. That's fine. I'm working today. How's that going? Really good. I enjoy it. A lot. If you do find a way to clean up the river, a lot of people will be happy. I might actually be contributing something to society, for once. And with the voluntary campaign work, I feel I contribute in other ways, too. You're keeping yourself busy and motivated. You've come a long way since we first met. Thank you. Dr. Zelenka. A Roman? Uh, please. <laughs> Same time next week? Definitely. Thanks, Doc. Roman. Roman. <laughs> Take care, Zoe. Exactly what you'd expect a psychologist to keep on his office shelf. No tawdry romance novels, fantasy or science fiction, unfortunately. I see... No, no, I, I really shouldn't. It's a trap. A psychological trap. No therapist's office would be complete without a chaise long. Never used it. Would feel like a dork. I didn't know the doc was into cephalopods. I wonder if he has a pet one at home. I paid a fucking fortune for this permit. But your permit is no longer valid. You'll need to have it renewed. You have 24 hours to comply. Fuck off, you have 24 hours to comply. Well, that, that makes absolutely no sense. If, if you do not comply, you'll be detained and your food cart confiscated. If you so much as touch Carl, I will cut off your testicles and make a kebab. The threats are counterproductive and punishable by law. You have 20... How does it feel working for a fascist fucking regime, trampling all over the working people? I'm okay with it. Yeah, great health coverage, no overtime, pays decent. 24 hours. Hey. Hey, where are you? Just leaving therapy on my way to the lab. What's up? Oh, neck deep. Would I be a bad boyfriend if I asked you to stop by that place with the, uh, crazy person and the good food? Nella Bites, sure. And lazy, not bad. What? Not bad boyfriend, lazy boyfriend. What do you want? Uh, your pig. Nothing... Exotic. <laughs> Affirmative. I'll stop by Nella's right now. I should be at your office in 15? Thanks. You're the best. I am. <laughs> See you soon. Nayla has a nickname for her mobile kitchen, and that nickname is Carl, because Marxist. Nayla. 
street chef, Marxist, spark plug, and friend of mine. I do love her in smaller doses. Did you see that? I shouldn't. I can't believe the eye is harassing. What was all that about? Fucking eye. Making up shit so that they can harass anyone who doesn't toe the line. Now I'm going to waste the whole afternoon standing in line at the district office for a permit I don't fucking need. <sighs> Never mind that this is just the tip of the garbage heap. They're restricting transit between sectors, adding more security to all the metro stations and ports, requiring paperwork for anything beyond local lines. I mean, what the fuck? I knew Parliament was tight with the Syndicate, but this is Chungo Man. They're planning something. Probably going to hunt down and arrest revolutionaries next. That's me fucked then. I'm sure you're not. Word is they rounded up all the European Liberty folks in the Berlin district last week, detained them on suspicion of terrorism. Terrorism! For speaking their minds! And okay, for releasing clouds of biographiti. I know that clique, they're harmless. It was just a call to action. That's fucking terrorism now. Scary. Scary. That's exactly what it is. And your candidate isn't going to change anything for the better. Maybe not. But Uminska won't change anything for the worse, either. Unlike Konstantin Wolf. Kaiser Konstantin. Puta! If that schwein gets elected, I'm moving to Paris. They'd never let you in. One of the conglomerate city-states of North America, then. Newport. The fucking Republic of Los Angeles. Hell, even Bostonia. Anywhere but Kaiser's Europe. That's why Lea Uminska is the best choice. No one's gonna put the Marxists in office, Nela. At least my candidate has a fighting chance, and she is a socialist. She's a moderate, Zoe. A moderate! What's the point in that? Moderation is just another word for compromise. Anyway, what are you having? Having? Lunch, Zozo. -zo. For your turbo. Listen, I have a new supplier for Porkwurst, the collective down on Caprova. Organic meat, the real deal, none of that vat-grown slop. Don't know how they do it. Connections on high, plenty of mouses swapping hands, but they're legal, I think. The pork sausages sound totally delicious. I'm not sure Reza will agree, but he needs to be more adventurous when it comes to his diet. Let's live dangerously. The pork sausages sound perfect. Dobra, coming up. You should join the protest this afternoon. We're marching on the sector office. Can't, sorry. Ada would give me time off, but the project's at a really critical stage right now. Smart girl. We'll probably get beaten by the bulla and tossed in the zona. Just another fucking Monday in Propast. Here you go. Thanks, Nella. If you reconsider, we'll head out around noon. Time to let those cunts know we're watching the Watchmen. The best food in Propaz comes from the street vendors and their food cards. Hands down, no contest. Crowbar is here to help you find your way in Propaz. Corporate sponsored ad bot. They were illegal in Casablanca. I miss Casablanca. Gross. Gross. I can't imagine the Alliance doing particularly well in the elections. It's really a two-horse race between Uminska and Kaiser Konstantin. Eyes everywhere. I've never seen so many of them out on the streets. A 
dream about tomorrow and how it will be. I ought to know it's up to me. Be who you believe in. Keep moving. Keep dreaming. The Collapse, August 8th, 2209. The day everything went to hell. I remember only fragments. It was a scary day. She gets a lot of mierda, but Rebus is straight up. I think I'm voting manifesto this election. The Marxists? No bullshit. What's the alternative, eh? Constantine Wolf? The boyfriend, working hard to save the world, one story at a time. What's up? Toppling governments and exposing corporate conspiracies? Well, all in a daze. How was... you know... Therapy? Therapeutic, I guess. You guess. I wish he'd leave the psychotherapy for later, but I know he means well. I know he means well, but not in the mood for more psychotherapy. Can we please talk about it later? At home? So, working. On what now? A couple of things. The clampdown, mostly. There's tons of buzz about the syndicate shutting down parts of the metro, uh, escalating identity checks, raiding news feeds. We're expecting the worst. You're loving it. I wouldn't say that, but it's exciting. We can make a difference. I pray they try to raid a hand. Sully's already preparing the lawsuits. We'll sue them for emotional trauma, unlawful intrusion, damages to property, interference with the free press. We'll sue them for 300 million yuan. He's looking forward to it. I am looking forward to it. Bring it on. On your way to the lab? Ready to get rid of me already? I bring lunch. Sausage. Surprise? Possibly exotic? Sorry. I forgive you. You can stay as long as you don't talk to me. I need to finish this story. The clampdown? No. That new bingo dreamer soft drink. Apparently they fast-tracked EFSA approval and skipped a few steps. Some customers have reported seeing the bingo dingo after drinking a can. We'll probably get it pulled from vending machines. That's my boyfriend, getting fizzy drinks yanked from store shelves. I'm a modern-day Gilgamesh, saving the world from hallucinogenic sugar water. Thanks for lunch. I appreciate it. I guess I'm making dinner. You guessed correctly, ZML. Oh, I won't be home until later. I'm volunteering. Any special requests? Nothing heavy. Have the membranes been repaired? I queried the building net, but no reply. Prepare for the worst. I can't believe we don't live in a climate control department. As soon as I get a raise, we're moving. I don't want to leave Propast. No, I like the neighborhood. But a more modern building would be nice. No more sunny living at Sonnenschein Plaza by original consumer goods. Anyway, lunch. Here, I have to run. Have fun at the lab. Say hi to, uh, to Wallflower? Ada. Ada, come on. She's the best. She's fun. Once you get to know her. Fun? She's so smart and a really nice person. Right. A nice person. Yeah, that's right. Nice. And I'm going to invite her over soon. And you will be nice, and it will be nice, and we will have fun.
she gets a lot of mierda, but Rebus is straight up. I think I'm voting manifesto this election. The Marxists? No bullshit. What's the alternative? I synthesized a new version of the Agi this weekend, based on our design from last week. It's stabilizing really well. Oh, that's... Um, good morning, Ada. Oh, yes, good morning. Take a look at the algae. I think you'll be happy. Hmm, that's looking good. Just like our model. Just like your model. The transmutation rate is at 150% of the previous model and holding steady, masha'Allah. I think we're ready for a test. Test? Oh, no, I don't know. Maybe we should run another simulation or 20? There's nothing to be worried about, Zoe. So far, your models have performed admirably. There's no reason this won't work in an organic environment. That organic environment is a river a river that runs through my neighborhood, a very, very public river. The permits are all in order. Yeah, no, I'm not talking about that. If this fails... It won't. If it does, my failure will be staring me right in the face every morning. Failure is how we succeed. We won't know until we try. And if we fail, we try again. We? Me? I'm the one who has to live with the consequences. Zoe. You decided to go back to school, finish your degree. That was a choice you made, and it was the right choice. Now, part of that is facing the possibility of failure. Failure will always be a part of the job, part of life. And you're right. The models won't always hold up. The river is a chaotic environment. The algae might die. It might do something completely unforeseen. Allah alam. And if the river does turn pink, you've learned something. We go back to the models, we try again. You should be proud of the choice you made, and you should embrace the consequences, no matter how embarrassing or trying they may turn out to be. <laughs> I'm done talking now. That was a lot more words than I'd intended. Yeah. Wow. Good ones, though. Those were good words. Ready to do some science? <sighs> you bet. But if that river turns pink, you're running the next set of tests. Deal. By the way, I did leave the lab this weekend. Don't tell me. You went clubbing. I don't drink or dance or enjoy the company of people. No, I went shopping. I knew I hadn't seen that outfit before. It's beautiful. 
That's not... Uh, well, yes, I did also get these clothes. Uh, thank you. But more importantly, I purchased a refurbished bot to help with the tests. From Mira. You recommended her? I think my exact words were, Mira's insane, I wouldn't trust Mira with my money, please don't buy a bot from Mira, you will regret it. She's close, and cheap. So, here's the bot. You're taking the bot with you to run tests. Say hello to bot. Hello, bot. Hello. Oh, that is so cute. You're so cute. Thank you. Glad to see you're getting along. You know what to do. Science? Science. I'll see you afterwards, inshallah. That's the cutest bot I've ever seen. I want one. What are we doing today? Are we playing something? Uh, no, we're... Actually, yes. Yeah, we're playing. Down by the river. That's cool. I like playing. What are we playing today? We're playing, um... Take the algae for a swim. Ow, gee. What are those? They're tiny animals that live in the water, like fish. Fishies. I like fishies. Fishies are cute. <laughs> like fishies. Sure. Works for me. So what are the rules? The rules are, uh, that we need to find places where there's plenty of food for the algae, for, for the fishies. Okay. And the fishies eat... Pollutants. I know. They process pollutants and excrete the chemical that cleans the river. Sesto in my head. Okay, yes, that's exactly what they do. We hope. So, okay, the algae, the, the fishies, need to be let out where there's enough pollutants. That way, they will be well fed. Your job, I mean, uh, the rules there's of the no game are as follows. Kaiser Look for parts of the river with really pockets of pollution. That. We it's go the there and test the water to see where to release the, um, the fishies. Finally, we let the fishies out for a... a Walk. Roger, Roger. You really are the cutest. She gets a lot of mierda, but Rebus is straight up. I think I'm voting manifesto this election. Time to play. Time to play. Can you do a flyover of the river from here and down to the end of the bricks? That sounds like fun. Send a live feed to my iris. Based on visual observation, I'll mark the areas where we can release the fishies. Okie dokie. Right there. That looks good. That's another one. You can come back now, kiddo. Awesome job. Was that fun? It was fun. I like flying high. I get horse flies in my tummy. <sighs> Butterflies. I don't care. How, how is that possible? 
You don't have a tummy. They gave me one for the butterflies. Whoever made you did an amazing job. Okay, so let's head to the first test area. You ready? You betcha. Let's go. Playtime. What are we doing? We're taking the fishies for a swim. What I need you to do first is to run a detailed scan of this section of the river and tell me where there's a dense pocket of pollutants. So you mean show you where there's food for the fishies? <laughs> Affirmative. Affirmative. What are we doing next? The scan confirms there's a perfect spot for the fishies out there. I'll point you there using my iris. There, that's the spot. Release the package there. I mean, uh, that's where we take the fishies for a walk. That's great. Now you... <gasps> Watch out! <whistles> oh, that was close. Keep your eyes open and um, your sensors active. I don't want you to get crushed. But good job, kiddo. I'm getting a reading from the fishies. They're playing and having fun. Too bad the boat's in the way. We're not getting as much data as we'd like. Let's head to the next spot. Yay. Let's pretend I'm the mum and you're the baby. Come with me. Baby. <laughs> okay, Mum. <laughs> so, who's your maker? Life I'm a say Shadri Maintenance Model 11 with a custom emoji face modding. Right, but your personality is definitely not part of the standard package. Who programmed you? It wasn't Mira, was it? Oh, no. My maker is Wit. Wit? He works with Mira at the Pandemonium. Oh, right. Really? Someone worked with that woman? He's very nice. He doesn't speak, but he's nice. Now I'll really have to stop by there someday, just to meet this Wit. He did a good job with you. Thank you. Should I start the scan? You know the drill, kiddo. Hey, you are Affirmative. No problem. I can give you directions to anywhere in Propan. Scan complete. Do you have the map? Yeah. Those barrels are in the way. I don't want the readings to be affected. We need to figure out how to move those barrels. Just tell me what to do. Could you try pushing that barrel further out? Sure. It's too heavy. I can't move it. Did I lose the game? Of course not. I'll figure something out. Yay.
On any other day, I'd be telling you to step aboard and hold tight. When I ring the bell, the ferry will take you across. But there'll be no bell ringing now that the Eye has shut down all unauthorized traffic in and out of Propast. My bell has been silenced. I have no purpose in life. You're saying the ferry crosses when you ring the bell? Precisely. Except there will be no bells rung today. Uh, sure, but back to the whole mechanic behind it. This is an automated ferry that's triggered by the sound of a bell. That's the way it works, I... I ring this bell, the ferry crosses. I ring it again, the ferry comes back. Simple, really. Instead of, I don't know, you remote controlling the ferry via your iris? I don't believe in integrated tech. I believe in keeping old traditions alive. Right. So you sound the bell and this completely automated robotic ferry crosses the river? Aye, that's the gist of it. Try pushing that barrel further out. Affirmative. Good job, kiddo. Hey, can you grab that rope over there and give it to me? I can do that. Thanks, kiddo. What are you going to do with it? I haven't quite figured that out yet. Is this part of the game? Definitely. What do I do now, Zoe? Can you loop this rope over the barrel and secure it? Affirmative. What do I do now, Zoe? Attach the other end of the rope to the boat. Make sure it's tightly fastened. Yes. This is fun. That was so much fun, Zoe. What's going to happen now? Well, for my brilliant plan to work, the boat has to move, but I'm not sure when that will happen. We may need to provide some, uh, some incentive. See that red lantern up there above the bell? Where? Oh yes, I do. Why? Can you make it drop? Isn't that illegal? Remind me to have a the ends justify the means sometimes chat with you after. N yes. I mean, no. I mean, it's part of the game. Trust me. Affirmative. Mad. He did get mad. Oh, good job. N not with, you know, not because you made him mad, but with the lamp and the bell and the falling and the ringing of the bell. Th that whole thing. It was fun. What are we doing now? Now you can let the little fishies go for a swim right over there. Affirmative.
I'm getting a strong signal from the fishies. They're doing fine. Are they eating? Affirmative. They're eating. Are you ready for the last one? Oh, are we done already? Almost, for today. But we'll have more playtime soon. Yay. Follow me, Zooey. I mean, baby. You're the baby, remember? <sighs> How could I possibly forget? Hey, Kutria. That's your bot. What, me? I'm looking right at you. Um, no, no, it belongs to my, my supervisor. Well, actually, our university. University, of course. Robotics? No, uh, bioengineering. Even better. You've been by my shop before. Your mirror? Once, yeah. If you're ever in the market for your own bot, stop by. I give you a very special price. I don't think I'm... Stop by anyway. Next week. Nice work with that bot battle. She's special. Take good care of her. Back to the lab with both of us, kiddo. Oh. Well, you know, our game isn't done until we've reported back to Ada. Oh, I'll show the way. Follow me. Affirmative, Mum. You don't have to pretend to be my baby anymore. I'm done playing that game. Uh, ah, right. We're home. It was great playing with you, Zoe. I hope we can play again sometime soon. Me too, kiddo. Me too. The river did not turn pink. That went better than expected. Oh, I knew it. You had no idea if the algae was going to work. I did not. Did it? It's in the river and reacting positively to the environment. We should be receiving a data stream from the nanosensors. Confirmed. In a week, we'll have a very good idea of survivability and transmutation success. Good work, Zoe. You synthesize the algae, not me. Our research, your models. Accept the credit. It was well deserved. Thanks. You're right, Ada. It's progress. We have a long way to go before I'm patting myself on the back, though. I agree. But we've made enough progress for one day. I'm staying here to monitor the data for a while. You can head out. Are you sure? When I say I want to be alone, it usually means I want to be alone. I'll ping you if there are any discrepancies. Please do. I'm heading over to the campaign office. See you tomorrow.